Gerardus Mercator may be one of the most well-known cartographers to map the world onto a globe, but have you ever heard that the German anatomist Corbinian Brodmann was the pioneer of mapping the human brain? In the early 20th century, he described the cerebral cortex according to its cytoarchitecture, or its histological structure and organisation. In doing so, he mapped the brain into 52 areas, which have since been correlated to various cortical functions. From humble beginnings as a maidservant son, and a schoolteacher who described him as weakly capable, Brodmann certainly exceeded expectations during his medical career. However, his research was interrupted by the First World War and cut short by his unexpected and sudden death. Who knows what else he might have discovered? Despite this, Brodmann made his mark in neuroanatomy, and in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about his legacy, the Brodmann areas. So let's begin our tutorial with a quick overview of what we're going to be talking about today. But don't panic, I'm not going to take you through or expect you to know every single area. We'd be here all day. Instead, I'll discuss key Brodmann areas found in each lobe of the brain. So today, we'll be looking at areas found in the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the occipital lobe, and the temporal lobe. Finally, we'll conclude our tutorial with some clinical notes. Before we really dive into it, it's worth mentioning that Brodmann's classification system is based on the fact that the human cerebral cortex is composed of six cellular layers, namely the molecular layer, the external granular layer, the pyramidal layer or the external pyramidal layer, the inner granular layer, the ganglionic layer or the inner pyramidal layer, and the multiform layer. The histological structure and organisation of these layers varies between areas. In other words, each Brodmann area is characterised by a particular arrangement of these layers and the cells which populate them. As we explore these areas, we won't be examining them in numerical order, rather according to the lobes of the brain in which they are arranged. So without further ado, let's get started with the Brodmann areas found in the frontal lobe. First, let's familiarise ourselves with the frontal lobe, which is the largest part of each cerebral hemisphere. It is separated from the parietal lobe by the central sulcus and from the temporal lobe by the lateral sulcus. Its functions include the control of voluntary movement. It's also involved in attention, short-term memory tasks, motivation and planning. OK, now let's have a look at the key Brodmann areas found in the frontal lobe, starting with the Brodmann area 4, which is also known as the primary motor cortex. Brodmann area 4 is located in the precentral gyrus and controls voluntary movement. So when you want to impress your friends with your dance moves, this is the area of the brain that you use. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full length video and master anatomy.